Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Tonight's topic is going to be the number four installment of the What Is series, and this will be self-love. Think about that for a minute. This is a topic that many people requested. That's why I put it up to the fourth spot. And everyone, if you like the content, please subscribe. So self-love, let's dig into this first. What is self-love? Many people hear the term and they don't fully understand what it is. What self-love is, is essentially when you care for yourself and you give yourself more attention and you better yourself and you put your energy and time and love into yourself. And basically, you're putting yourself as a priority and that's what you're doing. And self-love is extremely important throughout life, but no more so than post-narcissistic relationship. You see, self-love is something that most likely you were not doing throughout your whole life because if you're an empath, I'm certain you weren't doing that. On top of that, if you were in the narcissistic relationship, there's no way you were having self-love. There's no way you were putting yourself first. You couldn't do it. It's impossible to do so because remember, you're in the narcissistic relationship, which means most likely you were and or are walking around on eggshells. You're in the fog, you're confused, you lost your identity, you lost your sense of self. And when you lose your sense of self and your identity, there's no way you can have self-love. It just, it, it won't happen because you don't know what's going on and you're a puppet to the narcissist. Now, self-love, what it means is this, is let's say post-narcissistic relationship and when, when you've healed, by the way, or well, you're, when, you're, when, when you are well on the healing path, it's things like this, like putting your energy into those that want to reciprocate, that are beneficial to you. It's like maybe having a spa day, maybe taking time out to just relax and unwind. It's putting yourself first and foremost and not caring what the world thinks. It's, it's just, it's loving yourself, appreciating your beauty, your flaws, everything about you. It's, it's appreciating the life experiences you've gone through to get to this point in time. Self-love is so important on the healing path because most likely, if you were in the narcissistic relationship, you were working for the narcissist. And I'm certain you were abused many ways, financially, spiritually, emotionally, intellectually, every way possible, spiritually if I didn't say that, physically, certainly. But when you're in the relationship, you don't know any better because again, you don't even know what narcissism is and most likely you were giving to a fault because perhaps you were a people pleaser like I mentioned on the channel or perhaps you just wanted to contribute because you were ho holding on to that breadcrumb, that thread of hope that you would get back to a happiness stage or a love bomb stage or things would change. They won't, they didn't, and they never will. It's not until you get the education on channels like mine and many others, and again, thank you very much for being here, that you fully understand that you are the priority, that you do come first, second, and third, and that nobody ever again will do what the narcissist did to you. It just won't happen. You won't allow it. So self-love, what you need to do, I'm strongly suggesting, have boundaries. Understand that no is a complete sentence. Understand that you come first. You are the priority and don't be guilty. Don't feel bad about not doing things to help other people. I'm not suggesting to not help other people. I'm suggesting when your cup is full and you are able to contribute to society or you're able to contribute to, to people that you love or people that are kind and loving and that have your back, then do it. But post-narcissistic relationship, mainly until you've healed, you will need to put all of your energy into yourself. That is the path. That is the only way to heal. You will have to actually identify what narcissism is and what exactly you just experienced. This is not a time to be your he hero. It's not a time to take one for the team. It's not a time to give your energy away. It's a time to have self-love. It's a time to understand that, wow, throughout your whole life, up until this point, most likely you were giving. And right now, you need to give to yourself. That is the path. That's exactly how you will heal, of course, with many other things. But Many times people will say, I don't understand self-love. I hear the term, I don't get it. The reason why most people don't get it is because they don't practice it. Play that again. When you practice something, you become good at it and it becomes more natural to you and it becomes second nature to you. Like studying or watching my YouTube channel or going for a bike ride or doing anything that benefits you. Those, are, those become habits and good habits and healthy habits and they fulfill you, they make you feel better. They enable you to learn, to grow, and to teach if you can. But if you're not practicing self-love or if you haven't practiced self-love throughout your life, this may be foreign to you. It may have, may have just been a passing term, similar to narcissism. Remember, 
throughout your life, you probably heard the term narcissist or narcissism and just gave it no attention. Like, okay, whatever, that person, they look in the mirror, big deal. It's not until you actually experience it firsthand and you understand, wow, this thing is prevalent on the planet and I want nothing to do with it because of its toxicity, because of how it almost took me down. Flip that coin around. Self-love is the antithesis of that. It's instead of you giving yourself to a narcissist or an empty relationship of hopes, future faking, possibilities, what ifs, things that will never arrive. Also, when you're being abused and taken advantage of and manipulated and lied to, this is the antithesis, it's, the, it's flip the coin. And so you're having all the goodness, all the love, all the wholesomeness, but you're putting it into yourself and you're recharging your battery when you need to, when you want to, and you set aside time because you know it's the best thing for you. Keep in mind, working is imperative. We all need jobs, we all need to work. I understand that completely, I am included. Having said that, you also need time to recharge your battery, to arrange a spa day, to get a massage, to get acupuncture, to go for a mini vacation one or two days, to go on a real vacation for a week or more, to reconnect with that long lost friend who did have your back, to, to learn how to surf, ski, to open a website, to create a book, whatever you wanna do. The point is self-love is, is something that fulfills you. It has nothing to do with the exterior. It has nothing to do with the noise in the outside world. Self-love is just that. Think about it, it's two words. It's self, which is you, and it's love, which is the most beautiful emotion we have on the planet. Self-love. Just put everything, all of your time, your energy, your commitment, and your love into yourself and make it happen. Now, self-love, it will take a little bit of time, especially if you're not accustomed to doing it because you really don't know what to do and you're so used to being walking on high alert or walking on eggshells or maybe just contributing to other people and not putting yourself first. Pause there and understand. This is your time to now put yourself first. That's what you do. It may be foreign to you because maybe your whole life you didn't put yourself first. But then again, maybe you should have. I'm not trying to trigger you or upset you. I always put people in front of, my, in front of myself my whole life too, until too not, not too long ago. And now I clearly recognize what I do is put myself first and I do what I want, when I want, with whom I want in my time. That's what I do. And I put myself as a pri priority always. If, if, if somebody asks me to do something or to help them or assist them and I can do it, I sincerely stop and think, A, am I able to? B, is my time used wisely doing so? And C, is this a valuable person in my life? If they check the boxes and I can do it and I do not have any other prior obligations, I will do so. If I do have obligations, I certainly won't. I'm not gonna juggle my schedule around for another individual any longer, nor should you. Keep in mind, when you were in the narcissistic relationship, you basically were on schedule. You had to be home at a certain time, you had to cook dinner clean, take the kids to school, walk the dog, pay the vet, plan the, vac plan the vacation, clean the pool, do anything possible, be the errand person. It's what you did. And did you have any time for yourself? No, you didn't, why? Because you weren't allowed to, that's why because you weren't a priority. Not only were you not a priority to the narcissist other than the supply you provided for them, but because you were manipulated the way you were and you were programmed, you weren't a priority to yourself. You wouldn't allow it because you always felt you could do better for the relationship and better for the narcissist. That's what they wanted. They wanted a clone of themselves or an extension of themselves, which was you for a period of time. I'm not saying physically because you can't clone a human being, at least not now you can't, but they wanted another individual, a companion, a friend, a coworker, someone who would do their work for them while they took the credit and they went out and got supply right in front of you or behind your back or stonewalled you or triangulated you, my least favorite thing that the narcissist does. The whole point is you did not have time for self-love. It just wasn't gonna happen. And you, you know it now. Back then you didn't know it, you just knew that you kept on working and working and working while the narcissist kept taking and taking and taking and nothing ever improved except for maybe that one miracle day per month. Maybe every other month that you're like, oh my gosh, this person's back. It's gonna be so much fun. And then the next day, boom, you're dropped. That's the way it works with the narcissistic relationship. So self-love is something that's imperative for people in a narcissistic relationship out of one who have never experienced one, it doesn't really matter. In this day and age, with all of the strengths that this planet has and all the growth and progress, self-love is extremely important because most people have freedom. They have some time to do what they want to. Yes, I understand we're all in different situations, but, but you can call in sick for a day and have a spa day. 
where you can take a day off from the weekend instead of what you normally do on a Saturday. Make it, make it your day, a self-love day. Do something that makes you happy. That's the whole idea. But don't just do it once a week. Practice it each and every day. Love yourself, embrace yourself, look at yourself in the mirror and, and tell yourself how beautiful you are, how loved you are, how absolutely amazing you are. That's what you do. And you don't just say it and not mean it. You need to say it and feel it. Just like I'm creating this video, giving you all my attention and my love and my energy and my abundance and my wisdom. That's what you need to do with yourself. Self-love is imperative. You need to practice it. You need to fulfill yourself, make your cup full and live your best life. Everyone, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great evening. Stay blessed. Stay true. Stay on the path. Practice self-love. It's important. If not now, when? Do it. Make yourself happy. Relax. Give yourself a big virtual hug. Guys, I love you all. God bless you. No matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. Remember that. You are amazing and beautiful. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great evening. God bless you. Good night.